All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to configure your flash timing system to interface with TrackMate by Sports Automation. So the first thing we'll need to do is open up our TrackMate program. Uh, this is after you have set up the meet, you've got all the entries in, you've got the seating done, and you're ready to run the meet. We need to enable the timing system interface. So on the bottom right, you'll see this box that says timing system. We're going to click that. And at the very top, we'll see that the timing system interface is disabled. So we're going to click the configure button. Go over here and select the correct timing system. So we're going to click the down arrow and find the flash timing system. Like that. And now we need to set the path to the timing system files. So if we click the browse button here, we'll see that it pulls up a directory and the when TrackMate's installed on your computer, it creates a little folder in your documents folder on the C drive, TrackMate folder, and that's where these files for this meet will be stored. Now if you're doing several meets during one year, you're probably going to want to create a separate file for each meet so that you don't get the data for the meets confused. Um, pull up the wrong start list for the wrong meet, that's not fun. Uh, so if you will just create demo meet folder for this first meet and click select folder so we'll see the path is now set to see the documents file track mate and this demo meet folder so we'll click OK on that next we need to open up our flash timing program now if you're using two computers one to do the capture and one to do the review and the scoring on um, you'll need to set this up on both computers. Flash timing will be up on in the capture mode will be on the capture computer. This is the f computer you'll use to record the videos of each race and when you go to pull them up on the review computer you'll need to have flash timing installed on the second computer and you'll pull that up in video review mode. The configuration process will be the same you just need to make sure that you point the correct computer to the correct files. Hopefully that makes sense. Click on the capture button here on the capture computer. Click on configure. And we need to set the video capture path. This is the location that flash timing will store these videos at. So we'll click create the folder for new meet. Um, just setting up a brand new meet, you can type in the meet name here, select the date, and click create meet, and it will create a folder for that meet to store those files in. Um, since I've already got a meet folder set up here, I'm just going to select this existing folder. Click OK, and you'll see now the path of that folder I just selected. On the scoring options, we need to make sure meet management software. We're going to go ahead and find the Sports Automation TrackMate program. We'll click OK, and we need to go in here and set the scoring folder. Now, this will be the same folder we just set up in TrackMate, so we'll need to click on that. It is located in the Documents folder in TrackMate, and then there's the Demo Meet folder that we created. We'll click OK for that one. Now you'll see it's now pulled up the event schedule and the start list. And now we are ready to time this meet. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact me at rick at flashtiming.com.